I'm going to take part in a three day thickener challenge. I'm going to have thickener in all my drinks. First of all, I want to see what it's like when I recommend thickener to patients, the experience for them, how, how, um, how it really tastes over and over again. I want to see, am I going to drink less because it doesn't taste so good? Um, I just want to look at all these factors. Well, I'm the second two days into my thickener challenge um, and I can honestly say it's not particularly enjoyable. Um, I think I'm, I'm I'm drinking a lot less than I would normally and I, I don't drink that much normally anyway. I feel thirsty. Um, I've discovered that drinks are a lot better when they're flavoured so I like my um, squash. Thickened tea I've just given a wide berth and thickened hot chocolate is really nice. So basically I'm drinking squash and hot chocolate. Not having thickened water either, that's horrible. The other thing that I thought was quite interesting is when you're out and you've got thickener, um, it's really, you feel very self-conscious thickening your drink in a restaurant. Um, people wonder what you're doing. I don't know, there's lots of things that kind of put you off thickening your drink. Um, not least, it's just a bit of a faff when you're out thickening your drink. It's a lot easier at home shaking your drink in the shaker and pouring it in. So I'm trying to drink as much as I can while I'm at home. But it's it's hard. Um, still, I'm really pleased I'm doing this because it's going to give me a good insight into um, what it's like for, for our, our clients and our patients who, who are recommended this. I like to think that if it was a kind of serious health implication that I was likely to get chest infection, pneumonia, or I was coughing every time I was drinking normal fluids, I think I'd be a lot more um, up for drinking this, I'm sure. But at the moment, I'm not so keen, but I'll give it a go. I've got tomorrow to go and um, then I can go back to normal fluids.